How you all doing guys? Greetings. Um, hope you're all well. Um, just coming at you now with a five month update uh, just to show you how things are now looking. And as you can see, we've got a nice hairline here now, all filled in. It's looking nice and thick and it's all sort of stepping in. I can now maintain a hairstyle um, without having to worry about it looking thin in places. It looks quite even. Um, it is only at the five month mark and I have been told that there is some more uh, progress yet to come so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I have got some images on my phone of how my hair used to look before I had the procedure. Um, I know I had a few comments previously people asking me what sort of uh, Norwood level I was at etc but I'll just show you some of the pictures of how my hair looked before I had this procedure just so you know obviously what, what to expect and if you are going to go for something like this. So as you can see here, I'm just, I'm just okay. okay, so this is basically how it was looking. It's a bit hard to see, but you can sort of get a, a look of how it was. That's basically how it was up on the side. You can see the side now. And is my front area where this was the main problem area here and here which is the most common sort of areas I wasn't too bad down the middle but it was still quite thin and I had patches where it was thinner than others and as you can see now um, they've done a great job and it's looking a million times better than it was um, from that so I don't know what Norwood level that is, if anyone knows, just put it in the comment, but that's basically how it was looking before I had the procedure. Now, um, any products that I've changed since I last posted, um, I've been using a product by a company called Nutrisum um, for about two weeks now, and it's worked wonders, it's brilliant, it's excellent for thinning hair and uh, reduces breakages as well. So um, there's nothing more disheartening and soul destroying um, and depressing to wake up in the morning and see pillow, um, hairs on your pillow um, from where your hair is broken overnight. But try this stuff if you are going to be, uh, if you are suffering from thinning hair or breakages following. Um, you can use it post transplant or before, it doesn't matter, but it's brilliant. I mean, I'm not endorsing this product because I'm sponsored by them or anything like that. They don't send me anything for free, I pay for this myself. Um, but I've just tried it and it's working great. I'll just show you what it is. So it comes in a two-step formula. You've got the shampoo, which is um, just need to rub a little bit into your hair overnight. Sorry, big bun overnight. Just need to rub a little bit into your hair and then wash it out within a couple of minutes. Um, then you've got this two-step area. This is the serum. It's a thickening, thickening agent. Um, and basically you just apply uh, up to, I think it's 20 little drops onto your head after you've dried your hair. Um, rub it in and leave it. Uh, you can style your hair as normal after that. But these two products, they're good. I mean, it's £10 each. They are, they are quite expensive, but they are, they're really good. They're brilliant value for money because what they do, they last for ages. And I bought these two weeks ago and I've hardly used any of them. So they're great. And also, I've showed in a previous video this uh, coconut oil. Again, this is great. Again, I, I brought this about about a month ago now, and it's it's excellent. I've still got over half the bottle left. So these three products are the only ones that I've been using, and um, the only ones that I really need to use. I still use minoxidil oil in the night as well. Uh, a few drops of that, but a couple of sprays of that in my hair and sleep with it. Um, but yeah, it's it's really good. I mean, so far. It's all good, and as you can see, I'm I'm actually buzzing with how it's looking. Um, again, any questions? Give me a shout. I'll try and up, answer the questions best I can. Um, but yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and thank you for all the subscribers and everybody who's been uh, keeping up to date with my progress. But yeah, thanks for that. Speak to you soon. Bye bye.